It's a tour of the 1920s, some swinging tunes from the 20s and into the 30s in this shellac stacks listening session. That is what's coming up next. Vinyl community, music lovers, 78ers, shellac stack, shellac stackers, <laughs> uh, lovers of the old timey tunes from the 1920s and 30s and anyone else who just happened to stumble upon this video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Tone and Grooves and this is a shellac stacks listening session. My name is Jeff and we're going to listen to some fantastic swinging tunes well i hope hopefully fantastic honestly some of these i have not even uh listened to yet um two of these were in a very recent video that i did which i'm assuming i will have posted by the time you watch this um that was an unboxing video a couple of records that i picked up on ebay so going to play those um, and, um, a couple of other records that are, um, somewhat recent, recent acquisitions. I picked up a few things at a junk shop, oh, uh, back maybe a month ago now. And, um, so I'm going to play a couple of those as well. So we're going to take a listen. First up is a song from 1925. This is Joe Friedman's Monte Carlo Orchestra. And the song is, Oh Boy. What a girl.
absolutely fantastic. That was, oh my gosh, that was so good. Uh, Joe Friedman's Monte Carlo Orchestra. Oh boy, what a girl from 1925. It is on Harmony number 19-H. It's an early Harmony. We're going to play the flip side now. Um, I had I had listened to um, just enough of that song. I, you know, I saw this record on eBay and I was immediately intrigued by the title. Did not did not know the song and thought that's got to be a great record. And um, just did a search to see if I could listen to that song. And I was able to listen to it. I didn't listen to the whole song. I just listened to the, you know, into the chorus the first time. And I was like, oh, that's an awesome song. Uh, that's a record worth buying. <laughs> so, uh, but I had not listened to the whole, to the song all the way through. Um, from here on out, I have not heard these records. So everything um, from here on out is going to be just as new to me as it is to you. So we'll play the flip side of that record, um, which is Fred Hall's orchestra. It's a song called Say Arabella. I have no idea, but uh, we're going to give this a whirl. one too um a little more you know 20s dance music but with some jazzy solos and whatnot fred hall's orchestra say arabella um that one also from 1925 i believe um this is again again like i said harmony 
record 19-H. Um, I think that is the earliest harmony record I have in my collection now. Um, number 19. Uh, I love the harmony records. Um, harmony records um, recorded by Columbia, a budget line, um, making use of all of Columbia's um, acoustic you know, recording equipment, their acoustic studio, acoustic recording equipment. Um, after you know, they switched to electric for their mainline, you know, series of records. Um, so, and they're from the twenties, you know, from the mid twenties and into the, I don't know how late they go. I don't know that they go into the thirties, but anyway, you know, 1925 on, uh, maybe 1924. So that's the era of Columbia's Viva Tonal records, which are just are notorious for being records that were well made. Um, and so I'm, I'm guessing that that, you know, is a reason why these harmony records, like I've bought copies that were really kind of beat up and worn and they just, they still play really well. So I'm guessing it has something to do with that era. Um, Columbia just made really good records during that era. Even in their budget line. So, okay, we're going to, Go on now to another one of those records that I bought from um, on eBay. This one is Harmony number 333. And it is also a, it's a split. So on one side, you've got Tommy Christian and his orchestra, which we're going to play next. Um, um, I bought this, well, sight unseen, obviously. It was online, um, but um, had not heard this. I have never heard this song, this record. Tommy Christian is kind of a favorite of mine. Uh, first discovered Tommy Christian back in the day when I first got into collecting 78s and I was um, I was running down every recording I could possibly get my hands on of Show Me the Way to Go Home and I have a version of Tommy Christian and his orchestra playing Show Me the Way to Go Home and um, that's how I discovered him saxophone player played in the Jan Garber's orchestra, the Garber Davis orchestra in the early twenties. And then, uh, by 1924. Or so I think he had started an orchestra of his own. And, uh, so here we have from 19, uh, recorded 1926, um, late, like December 28th, I think when I looked it up. So recorded 1926, released 1927 on Harmony Records. This is, um, a song called the title of the song just grabbed my attention. I just had to have this record. If my baby cooks as good as she looks. Of oven as she is in the parlor at 
love, love, love her. If my baby cooks just as good as she looks, then I'll be hungry, hungry all the time. funny that was funny not what i was expecting <laughs> if my baby cooks as good as she looks um and she doesn't cook very well. <laughs> oh that's funny uh yeah kind of a standard you know 20s dance tune not super jazzy um but really nice kind of fun to be able to you know hear uh tommy christian um, up, you know, up front and center for that saxophone solo. So that's that's cool, and I love the comedic effect. Um, those are some of my favorite songs in the twenties that have the the comedic aspect to it. So that's super fun. Okay, the flip side of this, it's a split. So on the flip, you've got um, Frank Cornwell and his orchestra with a song called Schultz is Back Again. And it says here, vocal chorus by Gus. I'm going to say that's Gus Guderian. G-U-D-E-R-I-A-N. Guderian. Schultz is Back Again. Of Schultz Schumann's band, he was the greatest leader, the finest in the land. Each morning in my backyard, sweet music he would stop. But he went away one summer day and almost broke my heart. But I found something out, and I just want to shout, Oh, Schultz is back again. Did it sing that, that sing that, that sing it sounds so sweet and out so shame sing ta sing ta sing 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 Paul Weitman he plays those shabby melodies For Demra she plays those pretty symphonies But shoes is back again We did sing ta sing ta sing 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 now there's Hermann with his clarinet, and how that fella blows. He loves to play that big sextet from Abe's Irish Rose. Hermann, spiel am allein hier vor der Kosse, mit schuf fünf Cent, betzel, bube, a bisschen anständig. Step up here and play something, yeah? Stop 
they sew up every pocket in his pen. It's such a pretty teacher when they stand here in a row. And Schulze hits that boom boom on the ein, zwei, drei, go. Schulze is back again with his... was that was interesting i couldn't quite make out all the little the comedy stick there with the heavy german accent um i might have to go see if i can try to find lyrics for that or something but uh see what's actually being said but anyway so there you have um schultz is back again frank cornwell and his orchestra that's on harmony record number three 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 from 19, uh, recorded 1927, uh, released 1928. All right, uh, we are going to switch gears here a little bit and go to um, a record on the Brunswick label. This is Nick Lucas. Uh, Nick Lucas singing and playing the guitar on a record here. It, this first song is called If You Hadn't Gone Away. Um, this is Brunswick 2961. It's from 1925. Um, Nick Lucas uh, was a kind of like early crooner, if you will, and um, guitar player. Um you know, his performance is really made possible by the advent of electrical recording um, so that they could record, you know, his voice and and get in, you know, put a microphone. I'm not sure how they did that. One microphone, two microphones. Um, I'm guessing one microphone, uh, but be able to use an electric record uh, microphone to record the guitar. Um, I really like his um, his records. Um, it's it's different and um just i don't know oftentimes really kind of cool so um here we go we're gonna listen to nick lucas if you hadn't gone away from 1925 somebody met you by Broke up our pretty romance You try to hide What was inside But I saw the truth In your plans Last night when you passed me by I felt so blue I could cry If you see A change I've got a good reason why I wouldn't be where I am Feeling like I am Doing what I am If you hadn't gone away I wouldn't sit here and laugh At your photograph That I tore in half If you hadn't gone away Wherever I go, whatever I do, I want you to know, I blame it on you, and if it's all over time, that I run around, here's what I have to say, I wouldn't be Wherever I go, whatever I do. 
Nick Lucas, if you hadn't gone away on the Brunswick label from 1925, there's just something about um, his guitar, and I don't know, just the that just him singing with that guitar. I don't know. There's just something about the sound of that that just really that just really appeals to me. I just kind of fell in love with the first time, you know, I picked up a Nick Lucas record, um, intrigued because of the description of vo- voice and guitar. Um, and I found a couple for like super cheap, 50 cents a piece or something like that. And, um, you know, took a gamble on it and just really, really enjoy it. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll play the B side, which is called Brown Eyes. Why are you blue? Brown eyes. Why are you blue? Let's give the needle a quick clean here, too. in the light, seeing your eyes so bright, just like rain drops in the window pane. When your eyes are blue, something's so wrong with you, let me kiss the love light back again. Brown eyes, why are you blue? Brown eyes, what can I do? Don't keep the sunshine off of your eyes. Say if you are wise, you'll stop your crying. Brown eyes, look up and smile. Smiling is always in style. Here's only happy your blues and troubles. Troubles will float away just like bubbles. You know, honest and true. I should never be
fun song. I really like that one. Um, I think that should have been the A side, not the B side. Um, I was intrigued. I could hear, I don't know if you guys can hear it on there. I could definitely hear it in the headphones. There was a couple of times there with along on the beat. It sounded like there was a, like a bass drum or something in the background, but it was, it was a little bit odd. That's why I was like, what, what is that? I don't know if that, I mean, it sounded intentional because it went to the beat, but, um, you know, I've heard stories of, um, some studios being able to, you know, pick up, uh, what, you know, extraneous sounds that were hap- you know, coming from things happening outside the studios, like, uh, Jeanette records, um, you know, was built next to a railroad track and they would pause recording while the trains went by. And then, but, you know, and some collectors say that on, uh, on some Jeanette records, you can actually hear, you know, trains rumbling in the background. Um, so I don't, that was the first thought that came to mind. Was there something unintentional going on that got recorded on there, but it also sounded like it was on the beat. So I don't know. Anyway, a uh, fun record from Nick Lucas from 1925 on the Brunswick label. And we're going to play one more record, two more songs. Going to uh, jump uh, forward in time a little bit to 1934. This is Adrian Rolini and his orchestra. And I got to be careful because this one has a chip, an edge chip. Um, so I'm going to have to line that up just right so I don't play, don't get the needle in that. So you might have to just be patient with me a little bit. So this is Adrian. We're leading in his orchestra, and um, it says it's on Decca Records, and it tells you here um, you've got Fulton McGrath on piano, Manny Klein on trumpet, Bunny Berrigan on trumpet, Arthur Rolini on tenor saxophone, Adrian Rolini on bass saxophone, Benny Goodman on clarinet, um, George Van Epps on guitar, Jack Teagarden on trombone, Artie Bernstein on bass, and Stan King on drums. So there are a number of well-known people playing on this record from 1934, Adrian Merlini and his orchestra. The A-side is a song called Sugar. So we're going to get this cleaned up here or dusted off. And uh, I'm going to clean the needle here quick. And then I'm actually going to take my time to get that lined up so I do not run the needle in the through that chip on the edge. So be patient, and we'll listen to Sugar here just as soon as we can. Thank you. 
that's a fun tune, kind of a mid-tempo uh, song. Uh, 19, what did I say? Yeah, 1934, Adrian Rellini's orchestra, Sugar, and uh, with all kinds of people playing on there. And this chip goes through here, so I'm going to do again, like I did the first side, and uh, back, it, back into it. Um, this is a song called Riverboat Shuffle. I'm assuming the personnel is the same. Um, I don't know why it would be different. Fulton McGrath, Manny Klein, Benny Berrigan, Arthur Rellini, Adrian Rellini, Benny Goodman, George Van Epps, Jack T. Garden, yep, Artie Bernstein, and Stan King. Um, same personnel. Um, this is, uh, I don't know, I said DECA number 265. Uh, so this is a later pressing because the um, DECA's early records and definitely as early as that, number 265, um, originally would have been on a, what they call the Sunburst label. So it's this, um, um, it's this you know, effect on the DECA logo there that makes it looks like the letters are kind of flying out at you um that's a sunburst label so this is the standard deca so this is a later pressing don't know when this would have been i'm not an expert on uh, all the different label variations for deca but i do know that <laughs> the early earliest are the sunburst so um anyway so let's take a listen to river boat shuffle oh i gotta back into that that's right um so we'll get this going here. There we go. Riverboat Shuffle, Adrian Rolini and his orchestra. <laughs> Thank you. 
nice record there with Adrian Berlini and his orchestra and a who's who of early jazz uh, musicians there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, nice uh, Jack T. Garden solo there. Could hear Benny Goodman on a, little, on a brief solo. Oh, yeah. Manny Klein and Bunny Berrigan on trumpet. Just, yeah. That's a good record. Um, really like that Riverboat Shuffle, especially. Like that better than the Sugar side. So, yeah, that should have been the A side. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Again, that's on Decca 265 on a later pressing. Originally recorded in 1934. The record's going to, you know, from is later than that being a later pressing. But super fun to have that. And yeah, I guess that's going to wrap it up. It's been about f almost 45 minutes. Thank you so much for listening in, for tuning in, for joining in on this episode of Shellac Stacks Listening Session. Um, we'll be back as quick as possible with another episode. Um, sh listening to more 78 RPM shellac records from my collection. Drop some comments, make some, I don't know, requests, suggestions. You know, love it when we, you know, interact with each other, when we chat via the comments. Always appreciated. Subscribe if you like. That's always appreciated, never expected. And until next time, stay in the groove.